Now I have also talked about different types of grasses. Here we are at the panicum grass. Okay? This is panicum. Look at the height compared to, to my height. Okay, this is about um, I think two meters tall. That is the maximum it can go. Compared to never grass, which goes up to five meters. So this panicum also is has also thin stems. They are quite thin. Okay, compared to never grass. But the leaves of panicum are very tough. Okay? Very tough. Normally we say it has a lot of fiber. Okay, compared to never grass. Navia grass is a bit soft. So, what is the usefulness of this panicum? At Sep Farm, we use panicum to increase the fiber of the feed. If we have, if we are feeding uh, concentrates, panicum will increase the fiber in those concentrates. I mean, in the feed itself. So, if you mix concentrates like maize flour and others, uh, uh, wheat bran, etc., etc., and you want to feed more to the animal, then the best thing is also to increase its fiber. So the fiber will come from panicum. So we will feed less of nature grass and also increase panicum if our concentrate level is high. Another alternative is if your nature grass is quite lushy, young one like this, of this height, with very good protein content, but then its moisture content is quite high. and if you are not careful, again, the speed with which it goes through the animal rumen is going to be very high. So how do you slow down that movement of that neighbor grass through the rumen of the cow? In that case, how do you reduce its digestibility? I don't think that is the right word to use. But I want to say that how can you slow down the process of motion of the grass through the rumen? The only way is to increase its fiber and you can increase the fiber by using high quality feed okay some people use um maize stovers that are dead already very high in fiber but low in nutrient that is the wrong way what the best way is to look for high value grass like this one which is still very green very high in protein and add it into your feed that which you think is low in fiber that is the work of panicum grass because it's quite tough now there are three types of panicum one is called mombasa another one is panicum uh, tanzania another one is panicum masai panicum masai is quite low it's it's, it's it doesn't uh, grow tall it's it's it goes up to maybe uh, three feet maximum but this one goes up to about two meters or seven meters, something like that, mm. okay? So that is why we have panicum on this farm. And we plant it together with navia grass and other sources of feed, pracharia, and I had explained about pracharia in another video. Thank you very much.